This is such a terrible idea. I don't know why I went back to this. It took me a month to finish chapter one. Let me just say that first. <laughs> now we're on chapter two. I'm scared. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Not on us, too late. I already opened it. Okay, so chapter one, let me recall. Chapter one, these friends are just chilling in a school. And then this one friend is like, Hey, yo, guys, let's do this ritual thing uh, so we can stay friends forever because one of their friends is going to like move away soon, right? Then everyone's like, yeah, yeah, let's do the ritual. And so they do it, but then they like cross into another dimension or something. And they get stuck in like an alternate reality of the school or something like that. Yeah, so we start out playing as Naomi and Seiko. And I think Seiko died, but I don't know. One of them died uh, after getting into like a really petty fight. And that's where we left off. Phew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? I also just remembered that... <laughs> Never mind. Maybe when I edit this video, I'll talk about it. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? huh? What is? Yeah, I was about to say, Seiko makes a lot of booty jokes. <laughs> what are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Oh, jeez. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Oh. How old are they? Oh, I don't like that. <gasps> yeah, okay, so this is where we left off. So I was right, Seiko was the one who died. Ooh, we're the teacher. Okay, wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. All right, all right. Are we gonna play as a teacher? Oh, she's with other people. Shinazaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it too? Outside, her voice? I'll go check it out though and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep it. <laughs> We're gonna give this guy the same voice as, what's his name, Toma <laughs> from, <laughs> from Misao. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Alright, so I'm confused. I I'm actually scared, my legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on, my head is spinning, I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice, and I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. I'm confused because... Uh, can I talk? But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from a moment. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. Alright, so I'm confused, right? Are they all in the same school? Because it didn't seem like they were all in the same school. Like, are they all in the same building? It doesn't- it seemed like it is, they are, but at the same time, like, wouldn't they have bumped into each other by now if they all plopped in here at the same time? You know what I mean? Anyway. I think that really was a scream we heard, hmm? Did you find something? I did. Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby. Or, no, probably an amethyst? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinozaki's the one to ask for that. Uh, who's Shinozaki again? Is that so? Well, then maybe I should give it to her. Uh, yeah, why not? Why would I keep it? I just realized, uh... Yeah, 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 people are dead. Okay, I just... Oh, that's... Severed tongues. Okay, I- I- <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? The music is, has changed. Last time it was more intense, but this one it's more like dainty. Ooh, hi! Consider this a fair warning. Even if you should find this exact spot from which your student scream and emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard- okay. He, the spirit just explained <laughs> literally everything. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume. I can't read! You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place uh, only a few minutes ago, or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. Oh, so... Interesting. So, they're all different dimensions, but they're overlaid in different, like, timelines, I suppose. It may even have been an echo from the future, who's to say? With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that and I seek scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. 
Uh, well, it just explained literally everything. Like, literally- <gasps> Literally ev- Oh, that's a bad spirit. Oh. Step aside. Why don't you screw off, you dang corporeal- Corporeal? Corporeal? An earthquake? That's a bad spirit! You just pissed it off! Uh-oh. Of course. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of- Of, of, of all <laughs> are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. She's literally looking for her students, but okay. Any last words? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Jeez. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. No, spare my students. It's fine. How did I just die by a cabinet? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta go search for Miss Shishido. I cannot say her name for the life of me. Uh, all right, all right already, but if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? Well, I know exactly where she is. Do you want me to show you? Um, only one door here. Oh, gosh, jeez. Can I go back? <laughs> what the heck kind of room is this? It's not like any other classroom I've ever seen. Yeah, that is kind of weird, huh? Hey, Shinazaki? My head is splitting. Uh, are you okay? Or can you not tell that she's not? It looks like there's something in here, though, in the back. No, that's a sign that we shouldn't be here if she's being like that. Hey! Ah, what the heck? Stay back! <laughs> Don't scare me like that, jeez! You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Uh, that's a sign that I should not look into his eyes. Oh! Oh, she got possessed. Hey, Shinazaki, where are you going? She got possessed. What are you doing? That's disgusting! Oh no, what's happening? Why are you both looking at me like that? I'm sorry I can't like scream. I wish I could scream, but my parents are gonna- not parents. My mom is gonna get concerned with me. Alright, please don't tell me he's over here. Just don't tell me he's over here. Okay, good. Good. Good sign, good sign. <gasps> Victims' memoirs. I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her, but it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, there's only misery. Okay. See, I was right. There is. Yeah, I was right. You can walk through that. I was thinking like, those are dangerous. Not dangerously close, but oh. <gasps> what? There is no. There is absolutely no way I can escape this dude. Oh! Did I save you? She said, but it couldn't be, could it? Oh my gosh! <gasps> Is it still chasing? <gasps> okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> that was actually a cool detail. That was a cool detail. I won't lie. That was pretty cool. Alright, so another memoir, I think. Yep. Uh. I'm writing these memo- should I- should I actually read them? I'm writing these mem memories- memoirs- memories with sticky hands. But it's not me that is sticky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you'll think I'm a horrible person, but I got hungry again. Really hungry. Like, I was about to die. So, I did something that I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. And I'm so, so sorry. Really, really sorry. Really sorry. But there is no other excuse. There's no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I'd been squishing and I put it in my mouth and I swallowed it. I ate it, I think that's what it said at the end. Uh, I think he was squishing an eyeball, if I remember correctly. So, <laughs> that's great. Oh my gosh! <gasps> that's them! Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear her voice. Is Ayumi like a medium or something? Like, she has so many, like instances where she's like oh i sense this and i sense this anyway that's the elephant in the room <laughs> are you all right shinozaki no obviously not Ooh, she's gonna possess again bring me more you'll do it oh 
Um, it sounds like she's being possessed by a cannibal. <laughs> They're mine. I'm sure as heck not sharing with the likes of you. He is twitching. You know, it's a real pain in the butt too, you know. Have some pity. Hi. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> She's gonna eat me. She's gonna eat me. She's literally gonna eat me. That poor girl. She's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Oh, 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 no, 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 I don't want to. <laughs> I'm scared of her. I'm scared of her. I'm really scared of her. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm terrified of her right now. <laughs> What's all the smoke I see? Get the heck out of that stall right this instant. Then I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again. Expulsion, that's what. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college with your home life as it is. The thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies on their own, of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Actually, you know what? You, you know what? He's honestly not wrong. Like, that's kind of my view on children too. I don't understand why there are parents in this world that have kids but don't take care of them you know what i mean like why would you have a kid in the first place i understand like maybe not maybe probably not wanting an abortion or something like that or just like not wanting to give them up for adoption stuff like that i understand that but like if you're gonna be like obviously bad to your kid why would why did you have them in the first place you know what i mean the vice principal is looking for you you're needed back at the staff room gotcha thanks hmm shinazaki You've got great eyes, you know that. Always so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem? You come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> I don't like that guy. That guy's the worst, I agree. <laughs> Thanks. You're not really any better, huh? <laughs> and I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happens. Okay, let's go back. I feel kind of bad now. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Yeah, okay, I feel bad. <gasps> Why the heck are you doing this? Answer me! Chino- Oh. You've gotta be kidding me. What? Did I just, like, straight up die? <laughs> Did I- Oh my gosh, I actually died. No! Okay, so no matter what, we're gonna stick with her. What's she gonna do to me now? What's she gonna do to me now? <gasps> oh, that's so nice! Please, come back to me, Shinazaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Imagine she kills me right here. <laughs> so what you're saying? Yeah, so far, all the corpses we found in here having people we never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Ugh. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. <laughs> yeah, we killed her. Woo! And I got- Ooh, no! Getting a conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from in the infirmary. <laughs> really? Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Shinazaki, Ishinuma, can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, four children abducted follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have been have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. Oh, so that's why that one... Spirit was like, teachers don't care, ga, ga, ga. you know what I mean? The scissors he held were, are confirmed to have been used to cut the victim's tongues, uh-oh, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically oh, removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. That's probably the, that girl right there, huh? <laughs> so interesting, she's, she's also in here, but where does she come from? We searched the entire place. Where does she come from? 
You've only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? Did it? What? Who's that? Yeah, who is that? High school paranormalist Naho Sainoki. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sainoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was- Oh! Great. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt, but did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition, on purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about, I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. Yeah, that's true. That's right! Do you have an idea of what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Wow. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids' pictures is in that newspaper article. It sure seems like the... Uh, unfortunately, this place took a toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with these children. Those children. If they can be put to rest, there must be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. At, uh, all this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this place. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the heck do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying- The murderer is here in the school, yes. Oh my- jeez. You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Repeat scenes over and over again, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, that is what we need. Jeez, that's intense. This reminds me of Danganronpa, because when the music just gets intense all of a sudden. I don't know about everything that happened to you, and yeah, I get that it was really horrible, but you're cursing and killing innocent people who- Is this music loud? <laughs> Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the penitent spirit sealed within. <laughs> uh... Is it working, or am I dying? Oh, I suppose it didn't work. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, she died. <laughs> she definitely died. Ooh, Ayumi threw the take doll to the ground and a panic and frustration. Uh-oh. Is she... No. Yeah, she's very much dead. Yeah, okay. She's extremely dead. Oh no, they really killed her. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's from the first chapter. You are lying right now. Oh my gosh, that's literally her. That's crazy, man. Okay, if you don't know why I'm like freaking out right now, it's because this body throwing thing was from the first chapter with Seiko and Naomi. I forgot her name. And Naomi. And they were like, they stumbled across his body and was like, ooh, what is this? But that's literally her. Which is crazy because in this dimension, it seemed like Seiko and Ayumi's stories story was finished before Ayumi and I forgot his name, the guy's name, story. Is, does that make any Does that make any sense? <laughs> so they really are like overlapping. They're not really in a, a fixed like timeline. That's kind of crazy. I can't take this anymore. And there she goes. Shino, no, okay. Oh, 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 get away, get away, get away, get away. I'm really starting to lose. No, 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 get away from. I guess maybe I messed up somewhere. Shloop. <laughs> Shloop. Shloop. 
Shloop. Oh my gosh. Shloop. Wait, is that the guy who killed the kids? Don't tell me that. Oh! <gasps> that's a teacher? Okay, that's a teacher. She's a lie? She's a, a, a. What? So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am. But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children! Oh! I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher- How is she alive right now? How are you alive though? Well, like, how are you alive? How? That was really the ending, bro. No, 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 we're starting chapter three right now. <laughs>